All right, for probably my one of my most favorite parts of the build, um, we're gonna look at the Hi-Fi system. Now, the Hi-Fi system was just a family set that we had for ages. My dad was really into Hi-Fi back in his day, so he left a set here. Um, and they're actually really high quality speakers. Most of them are like, the speakers are, are just here. They're made in, made in England. So we'll look at how the whole system works. So let's start from like the computer. The computer has a sound card, which I got on eBay, which is also pretty cheap at the time. It was um, a titan, what's it called? Creative Sound Blast or Titanium or something like that. Um, and it connects out with two RCA cables. These two are all right, they're not too bad. They're just decent quality monster cables. And that goes around the back of the radiator and there is a hole here, which is mostly for the hi-fi system. Um, and they connect down there. Now that connects into the control amplifier, which is right here. So we have volume control and this control and everything. Um, now that, uh, this control is basic. This is like the center of everything. It keeps everything it connects the whole system together. Um, as you can see here, I just made up this really rough sticker thing that that shows you what each of these connect to. So 3.5 is just that, because then this cable also connects straight to straight to here. CD, which my CD player is here. This is a decently expensive um, CD player. It's made in England. It's Lin Lin Carrick. Their top model is like insanely expensive, which I will, um, you know, probably not buy or never buy unless I, you know, make heaps, heaps of money. But this thing is pretty cool as well. This is like their third top model, so it is pretty good. If we look at something like, well, we can look at this later when we try to test it, but like they make this, this is made out of like a solid block of steel. It's not a plastic thing. Like that is uh, kind of hard to see, but yeah that is like a full metal plate. So that's really solid. Um, let's take a look at, so that that connects through two RCA cables again, which are here. This is also pretty good quality. Um, the connecting heads, um, a bit hard to get in there and have a look, but I don't think we'll see it, but they're WBT connectors, which are very expensive. And this is a Kimper cable um, brand of cable so it's just two different brands and they connect them together and that goes into here as well so you've got the CD and you've got the computer which was up top and then this one is for if you have those turntables which I don't and maybe one day I can get a turntable and put it somewhere um, so now let's see outputs so those are three inputs they all come into here now outputs this connects to this thing which is a analog audio monitor panel it's the brand is wola uh, w-o-h-l-e-r and that is the model number i think these are used in like music studios for like when you want to monitor any sound or any form of i don't know they just use it like that and then so if i have that on low volume and i just turn this up this will come out the sound will come out of here can adjust whether it's left or right and then the idea of this panel really was so that if this is turned off the speakers won't be on and if I turn this one up this one turns on and then through this I can use headphones which the headphones are here I made this stand myself it's a pretty shoddy stand it's just all right it's black nice and neat but you know it just works for the microphone nice curve there for the for the microphone um, sorry not microphone um, headphones uh, the brand is Tesla not Elon Musk Tesla it's just some um, other Tesla made in Czechoslovakia um, these were pretty high quality headphones but we also didn't upgrade to it we changed it to English cables and a Swiss connector head 6.5 6.5 or 6.25 millimeter head so this is obvious this is you know not the normal ones you see it's a lot bigger um, but you know the sound quality would be much higher using this sort of thing um, I have these two just waiting there it's a it's two different adapters let's take it apart um, this one is a 3.5 to 6.25 
and this one's just the inverse. It's just a 6.25 to a 3.5. So I've got all the adapters ready if I need to you know, use normal headphones or use this one on a phone or anything. That's all ready. Um, just the construction of this thing, pretty simple, just screws in there, screws at the bottom, and I covered it with um, some electric tape so that if I've got it here, I can spin it and I won't have any worries of scratching the glass because it's just electric tape. So, um, putting that away, then down here from the next output, so that's one of the outputs which comes to this monitoring thing. You can listen to this through the speakers of here or through the headphone port, which is the main purpose of this thing. Um, it also has indicators, which we'll look at later when we test something. Now down here, um, we're just gonna have to clear out a few of these boxes and this wood. Um, down here is the is where it um, connects to the speaker through a power amplifier, which is that baby there. These two are the charging cables, which lead up to the top, which give you the charging ports. But um, that here is is the model number is SAE two thousand two hundred, and it's made in America. And you know, I just take my dad's advice. He told me it would be a good one to use, so. I use that. The cables, it's an AudioQuest cable with WBT heads. So that's one of the higher brands for the connecting heads, which um, he custom made the cable for me. So I just use that. Then out the back, that fan there was just a spare fan I had that cut a hole in the back because here, because all the boxes, I thought that it'd be nice if the power amp had kind of a cooling device. So the fan can just, you know, suck out as much air as it can. Which is pretty good. Then out the back we've got the cable brand I think is Audio Note um, to the speakers and they are also decently high quality cables made in England as well. Audio Note, Music's Finest something, Conductor, yeah. So then they're connected into the speaker. Now the speakers used to be on that stand but then um, I was told that not a good idea, not going to give you the best sound quality so I um, thought that it was actually a great idea to put them down because we already had stands and the stands are really heavy metal like this is kind of hard to carry and It's got spikes on on its feet. So, you know, that's kind of dangerous as well because they're very heavy filled with sand I think and it's all solid metal. So That will give you the best sound for the speakers. I've also got these feet under the speakers which I think give more isolation to the sound so I just do everything possible to get the best speaker quality now let's if we open this thing that's what the speaker looks like Celestian SL6 SI um, this was bought even before I was born it was like a family thing and then we just never used it so then I took it back and put it into this desk build which I was pretty good and so yeah that's the speaker there then it was actually from me taking it down from the from up here, moving it to the stand was what gave me the idea for triple monitor. So one day there will be another one there and then we will have three monitors, which, you know, of course the mouse moves across all three of them. Now let's actually give this a test. So I've got this, what have I got in here now? I've got this Adele CD. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I you know, quite like her, her song. So I've got some of her CDs. So if we just hit play here, then music should start playing. Now, all we have to do here is because I'm listening to the CD now, I've got to switch this to the CD so that um, um, I can get the sound, the right input. Now, as you can see here, once I've switched that, now you can see that there is um, the light is showing that there's sound. I just haven't turned the volume up. Now, if we turn this up, sound comes out of there. If I plug in the headphones, then it will shut off here and come through the headphones, which we won't try now. But their exciting thing is, of course, the big speakers, because they're really powerful speakers. So, turning that up. them have um, balance so if I turn it all the way to the left only the left speaker will turn on and all the way to the right only the right one it's more for testing more than anything so we've got that now 
let's say, done with the CD, if I just press hit pause on that, if we, let me just find a song on the computer, I should have some, I have some dance songs, so we'll just use some of those. Um, let's say we take this song, now that that's playing through the computer, if I just switch it to Tuner, which is my PC, you can see that now that's running because that song's on. Same function. And same as here. These songs probably sound a bit old, but they're Blackpool songs, so gotta listen to them sometimes. Now the final feature um, is obviously this one. Um, that's the only last input I can do. Um, let's let's take a moment. Give me one second. I will go find the adapter. Okay, so we got this adapter. Now plug this in here, and sometimes the angle gets a bit funny here because this cable's a bit stiff. But let's say we plug plug that into the phone. Oh, it's a bit hard with one hand. Okay, so that's in. Now, to turn that on, we will need to just take that to 3.5, which is the one to the left. And then, um, if we just hit up a new song, let's just take Spotify. And then let's say whatever was on then. Now that would be on. Now because it's a phone, the phone doesn't give much power because it doesn't go through any of the power amps or amplifiers, it just goes straight in. So, um, let's say coming out of here won't have the most power because it doesn't go through the power amp. So you see, it only gives you one bar of the power, of like the volume or something, I don't know what that means, but it's just not as, not as obvious the sound. I guess this is just really a convenience thing. It does go through the power amp, but just because the phone it's a small device, it's not very sound orientated. The other ones, you know, like have sound cards and have like whole power things installed. So they give you slightly better sound, but coming out of here. So, yeah, so I mean that, in that way we've kind of got, you know, a pretty decent sound set up. We can really do anything we want. I can listen computer, computer, I can listen from my phone, I can listen from the CD player, which CD player does have the highest quality. It's not so convenient, but it does have the highest quality. Some CD, CD collection thing here. I've got a few more CDs, but I guess here is just the, like, I've got the full collection of CDs, like, it's kind of scattered around the house, you know, um, in here. But over on that side is the is the ones I probably listen to the most. I don't know, like all the pop singers and whatever. So we'll keep that there, just right next to the desk in case I need it. So in terms of audio, that's probably about it. The other thing, last thing I can do is um, with the Google Home, you can also play songs from Spotify. So that's also kind of a speaker, but you know, the sound quality is not the same. So when I can, I use CD, computer, phone and then it can come out from either the speakers or that little audio monitor which then you can use headphones for so that's the sound setup